morning. <clears throat> Good to have you all on here today, as always. Uh, we are going to talk about a subject that I, is so near and dear to my heart. I just um, It just breaks my heart when business owners are not do, utilizing an email list to their best advantage. Shelly, I see that you're on. Good to see you this morning. I will grab a cup of coffee with you here in a little while. Um, but we are going to get going. Simply Creative, Gina, good to see you this morning. I, I hope you're not freezing there in Wyoming. We've had kind of a chilly morning here. Usually that comes from your direction. So, um, but good to have you here. So we're going to also go live on Facebook here in just a, another minute or so. And um, just before we get started, as small business owners, I just want you to know, I think that Facebook Live that rolled out to everyone has is is going to be a game changer for all of us in uh, business. And I, I just think that um, you will... <coughs> You need to practice a little bit with it, but it, it will soon be time to get that going for um, for our retail businesses as well. So I can imagine doing product demonstrations. Shelly, for you, I can imagine doing, um, just telling about your um, some of your products, like your hamburger maker that you sell. I think that would be a great thing to do on Facebook Live, where you can easily um, promote it and just talk about it. And um, Gina, you know, in your fashion area, you guys do a really good job over there. And I think that that would be a good Facebook Live. Um, I think it is truly a game changer. So Connie, I see that you're on here this morning. Good to see you. Um, and we're gonna get we're gonna get rolling here. So if you'll give me just a second, we're gonna go live on Facebook. It takes three seconds, and then I'll be back, and we will be talking about. Don't build your house on rented land. So here we go. We're going to go live. One, three, two, one. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, again, this is uh, a Tuesday morning. We're going to be talking about don't build your social media house on rented land. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Vicki Adrian. I'm a longtime retailer, uh, 33 years in the little town of Bueller, Kansas. But I also work with and coach other retailers and entrepreneurs in building their own business and especially building a rock solid client list. And um, today we're going to talk about something that is so important. And like many of these conversations we have in the morning, this came from a conversation I had with another business owner. And it just hurts my heart when um, when people aren't taking action on some of these things that really can truly change their business. And so, um, you know, I called it, don't build your social media house on rented land because that is what social media really is. It's rented land. So this is episode 158. If you are new to our uh, Periscope or new to Facebook Live, you can catch all of our old episodes at vimeo.com slash Vicki Adrian. And, um, you know, just take a look at those. They are categorized pretty well. So Michael Hyatt talks about a friend who learned this the hard way. He said a few years ago, a friend was in the middle of a promotion for his annual conference. He used Twitter as the primary means for connecting with his tribe. But then Twitter um, inexplicably suspended his account. The problem was eventually fixed, but it hurt his attendance in the meantime. Um, so hello to you too. This was the first time that I saw a real downside to building a house on, rented, on a rented lot. I encourage everyone interested in growing their business to begin with a home base that you control. It is so important. So you want to use other services such as Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Pinterest and all of those things. They're very important and we're right here on Facebook Live today. Um, to build out your reach, but your home or your home base needs to be um, built on your own lot. And I'm when I'm talking about your house or your home base today, it is your email list because you own it. No one can take that away from you. So I thought uh, this was good. Owners make rules, not tenants. You know, when you are renting your first apartment or, or you're out in a, in a little rental somewhere, you don't get to even choose the paint color in your kitchen. But when you own the home, you can paint it uh, bright purple if you want to um, because you make the rules. 
So Facebook, like we said, is a very important part of our business, but it's not integral. It's too fickle for that. We can't count on it. Um, Money Saving Mom, who's a blogger, Crystal Payne, shared about how Facebook's algorithm changed, um, upended her business. After growing her followers to over 200,000, her traffic just dried up overnight. She says, only about 1 to 3 percent of my followers were seeing my posts. So as retailers and business owners, we've all seen a drop in the engagement from fans over on Facebook as they've, um, you know, continued to move to more of a pay to play type of site. And of course, they own the land so they can make all of these rules and we play by them. We adjust, we play, we, we learn to do, to boost our posts, we learn to do Facebook advertising, all of that as time changes. But um, it is so important to have your own land. So um, following Facebook's explanation to Madison Avenue, John Mc McDermott of Digiday said it re represented one expensive and frustrating lesson that it is better to rent than own. And that's just, I love this analogy because of the fact that owners make the rules, not the tenants. And Facebook owns the lot on this one. So very few things in life are stable, uh, but some things are more stable than others. Um, I bought uh, VickiAdrian.com, Adrian'sBoutique.com, and RemarkableRetailer.com, and several others years ago uh, before I ever had content to post or knew what they would become. I didn't even understand how it worked back in the day, but someone recommended that I do that. And if you haven't purchased, number one, your own name, your business name, um, or something close to it that you can use, you need to do that. Just go to GoDaddy. Most of the time they're like $12 a year. So um, it's definitely worth doing it. Um, so each of these sites have been through a lot of um, iterations, but it's always been mine. Every year I pay the bill, those are my sites. I own that. It provides stability because you set the rules. It's your, you own it. Um, so what, what does this mean? Um, to me it means that you post your primary content on your own site. So whether that is a, um, a blog, a website, um, it, email, those are the things that you post on your, own, on your own site. It's also why you want to convert social media followers and uh, blog readers to email subscribers. So by concentrating on building your rock solid email list, you can almost guarantee long-term repeat business from your clients. Um, yesterday I read that 91% of people check their email at least once per day. So are you showing up in your client's inbox? We definitely need to be doing that. So um, business owner Crystal Payne again is working on that right now, she says, I'm more convinced than ever of the need to, to be building a strong email list and I am giving it my highest priority. It might not be as hip or as trendy um, as social media, but an email list truly is one of the strongest assets that you have as a business owner and that is to turn one-time visitors into long-term loyal customers and I could not agree with Crystal anymore. So today, like many Tuesdays before this one, I'll be sitting down for an hour or so and crafting this week's email for our retail store. And so I don't know of any other platform out there that allows us to reach out and touch our own clients um, on a weekly basis. Yes, I do TV advertising, I do radio advertising, I do postcards, I do catalogs, I do all of those other things, but I am not showing up at their desk, sitting on the couch or at their dining room table. I'm not showing up on their phone um, like I am when I when I come to them with an email. So, um, you know, and when you compare that with any other type of direct marketing, email is a very low cost and it is very efficient. So my question for you today is, have you committed to regularly scheduled email marketing? In episode 157, which um, I did yesterday, we talked about training yourself and your staff members in the best way to ask customers for their email address at every single transaction. And I mean every single transaction. Even if they've bought a $10 item, you want them on your list. 
so it is so important so I had a conversation like I said earlier I had a conversation yesterday with a retailer who said they were waiting to find the right email program to capture their customers information and as you can tell I had a big ah I just thought oh so if this is you please stop drop and roll you have an emergency on your hands this should at least move up to the urgent quadrant on your to-do list today so here's your homework at least get out a notepad and ask clients for their email address and write it out on paper if you don't have a system in place you can graduate to a yes get a clipboard and a pen thank you Connie I oh this just drives me crazy and so um, you know there are ways to do this that are very low tech but you can be capturing those those names while you do the research but don't be a research junkie just choose one there's a lot of great programs out there I use constant contact it works very well and I have used it for years I think since about 2009 or so a uh, long long time <clears throat> but don't miss the people that are walking into your store today don't lose out on those clients um, you want to be doing the work now because um, if you're a retailer like I am our busy season comes the fourth quarter of the year we want to be ready that is not the time to be starting your email list you want to do that work now <clears throat> so we all started somewhere I started with zero emails on my email list we all start with zero don't let that stop you work set a goal get 10 today get 10 tomorrow in a week you're gonna have 70 names and email addresses so it's not that difficult to do so if you're listening today and you're not on the remarkable retailer email list please take just 30 seconds and join us today um, go to www.remarkableretailer.com and just click on my picture it's on the right hand side of the page and we've got a free resource guide ebook an ebook over there for you today when you sign up so you can also check out our latest blog posts there's all kinds of other information there's old podcasts over there um, th things that will guide you along on your entrepreneurial journey and again, you can also catch our prior um, Periscope episodes over at vimeo.com slash Vicki Adrian. And I would appreciate it if you're learning, enjoying the content here. I love the hearts. That is just awesome. It makes lets me know um, that you that someone is out there that I'm talking to a live body. And Kim, I am so glad you're over on Facebook. Uh, you're actually the first one whose name has shown up on Facebook. I'm not sure exactly how that's working, but it's good to see you over there today. And so, hi Kim. <laughs> um, but if you'll head over to our Facebook page as well, our Periscope listeners, if you'd head over there and just like like our page. Um, we consider that or I consider that my tip jar and I really appreciate your interaction over there so of course you can always drop me an email Vicki V-I-C-K-I at remarkableretailer.com and I'll be happy to visit with you and until next time just keep the faith and uh, thank you Kim thank you so much so until next time just keep the faith and just thank you for joining me on the journey to remarkable so I'm going to say goodbye to Kim over on Facebook and I'll be right back to you that are on Periscope so okay uh, Periscope listeners I am just so glad that you continue to join me in the mornings it it just absolutely makes my day and if I can be of service to you in any way uh, please reach out to me you can always uh, send me a note on uh, Facebook of course or you can email Vicki V-I-C-K-I at, at um, excuse me remarkable retailer .com. and again I just want to say that I appreciate each and every one of you and um, I hope that the conversations we have in the mornings help you to get started get motivated to to take action I think that's the most important thing that I, I want to stress here so I will see you uh, bright and early tomorrow morning and um, I hope that you have a fabulous Tuesday go out there and tomorrow I'm going to ask you how many names uh, you added to your email list today so whatever business you're in today be a great day to add at least 10 
um, at least 10 names to your email list. So thank you so much for joining me. Again, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.